What's up everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest tablet from Samsung. This is the diminutively thin Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. We've got the 8 inch model here. It's also available in a 9.7. Uh, available in the same three colors of white, black, or gold. And because I can read, we have the black version, 32 gig or Wi-Fi is also an LTE version. Uh, the boxes look pretty similar to what we've seen with the Note 5 and the S6 Edge Plus. Some specs on the back, some model number, and the rest of that things, but you don't need to worry about reading. I'm gonna take you through what this little guy looks like. I'm really excited to see this guy. I've been using a Sony Z4 tablet with my dedicated tablet, uh, but this guy supposedly gives it a run for its money and is uh, superior in a lot of ways, so we will give it a shot. Uh, go ahead and use the, I'm really gonna chop off a finger one day, obligatory big ass knife. Uh, I'll go ahead and slide the top off of the Galaxy Tab S2. The folks at uh, Samsung sent this guy for us to take a look at. Break that tape. Here is the tablet. And if you want to do a little bit of reading, it's the Tab S2. Very thin, really light. This size is probably going to be like, hey, here's the Nexus 8 that we're probably going to be carrying around in our pockets as a phone in a few years. Uh, off to the side for a real quick second. We've got the Samsung charger. Uh, looking for some sort of turbocharging uh, emblem on here. Don't see that. Uh, and we've got just a typical uh, white micro USB cord. SIM removal tool. Um, not sure why I've got one since we don't have a SIM, so I'm guessing that's how you get to the expandable storage. We've got a 32 gig model that's also available in 64. Uh, pricing is going to start at 399, so our model is uh, the entry level, so price 399. Some booklets on getting started and the rest of that things that we're not going to read. Nothing else in there. So let's push. All that box off to the side, I will put it back nicely, put it over here, and uh, let's take a look at the tablet. I'm not gonna get my usual satisfying whooshy noise because it looks like it's living in a, in a microfiber type bag, but let's take it out. It's probably the first time it won't ever have fingerprints on it. There we go. This guy is looking very uh, thin. And there's plastic on the back, so I do get my whooshy noise. This is just my little moment of zen. Excuse me while I enjoy it. Oh, so whooshy. And I know that was such a nerdy thing to say. Uh, the back of this feels great. It's plastic, but almost has like a, like a type of tactile stickiness feel to it. I can't even describe uh, what this even feels like, but it's unlike any other back I've ever felt. And it feels really nice. Definitely not going to slip out of your hands. So go ahead and power this sucker on and I will walk you through the specs. So the screen that is booting up is eight inches and it's 2048 by 1536. And if you're a Samsung fan or just follow the mobile industry, you could probably guess the Super AMOLED uh, display. Uh, three gigs of RAM crammed into this super tiny, thin 5.6 millimeter frame. And as you can tell, uh, Android Lollipop here, I believe it's a very 5.0, but when we get into the software, we'll see if it's 5.1. Uh, again, available in 32, 64 gig configurations, um, but you can add a micro SD card to 128 gigs, so plenty of storage uh, if you want expansion slot, which is quickly uh, becoming a dwindling thing. Uh, also hidden somewhere in here is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, powering this guy is an octa-core processor, and Samsung's done this with their Exynos. Uh, it's actually two quad cores, a 1.9 and a 1.3, working harmoniously in beautiful synergy to give you eight cores. Uh, the back. Got a camera, that's eight megapixel sensor on the front for doing your FaceTimes and I don't know, maybe sending a selfie to someone you shouldn't be sending a selfie to. Uh, it has a 2.1 megapixel sensor. And again, 5.6 millimeters thin. And this thing feels like the battery is not in it. It weighs only 256 grams. So that was a lot of me yammering. Let me go ahead and set this guy up and uh, walk you through the software and the hardware. So you've got this guy all booted up. Let me see what version of Android we are running on here. Go to about device. So 5.0.2 is what's shipping on here. So let me walk you through uh, the device itself. On the left-hand side, we have what my teacher said I would amount to, absolutely nothing. On the right-hand side, we've got a volume rocker up and down and a power and lock button. On the bottom, we've got two downward facing speakers, 3.5 millimeter headset jack and micro USB charging. The home button is actually Samsung's fingerprint sensing home button, so you can use that for added security. You also have multitasking button and a back button that are going to be flanking it. On the software side, this should be very familiar if you've seen any of Samsung's newest devices from the Galaxy S6 uh, on up. It's the newest version of TouchWiz, and it's way less in your face than other versions of uh, TouchWiz you may have used in the past. 
So the screen looks absolutely gorgeous, as you'd expect from Samsung. I think they make the best screens in the industry. Um, their Super AMOLED technology is pretty badass, and then a resolution to 248 by 1536. But I will use it uh, and test it. Just for a quick second before I end the video, talk about that back again. It doesn't feel like it looks. It looks like hard plastic, I know that, but it does not feel like it. So if you had a chance to try one of these in a store, pick one up and feel it, because it's very unique um, to this tablet. So I'm really excited to uh, take a look at this guy and see how it performs. Anything you guys want to see us test, uh, be sure to let us know. Uh, until next time, I'm John Render from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you guys know there's one thing I love, aside from an insane amount of candy, it's giving stuff away. So we've teamed up with Verizon and the NFL mobile app to give away a brand new Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, one of my favorite phones of the year, and I just want you to have it. If you're a football nut like I am, I've got four fantasy leagues. Um, the NFL mobile app is Verizon exclusive. It lets you stream prime time and local football games uh, live as the games are happening. Uh, it's pretty cool on Sunday, Monday, and the random games that happen on Thursday. You can also watch the NFL Network 24-7. You can track your favorite teams and players. They just make it really easy just to be a football fan. Also, you can subscribe to the NFL uh, Red Zone Network. If you guys don't know what that is, they show pretty much every scoring play as it's happening. They just switch from game to game to game. It's pretty much what's going on on my TV. Just to my wife's chagrin, like a good like five hours a day. I subscribe to it for just $2 per month, so it's a pretty sweet deal. I mean, of course, you can also just keep up with all the breaking news from around the NFL. And if you haven't been living under a tech rock, you already know what the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. It's done up in gold, which looks freaking gorgeous. 5.7 inch Quad HD display. It's the best screen on any phone out there. Uh, it curves around. It just looks absolutely awesome. It's got wireless charging built in. Use the Edge screen to get Edge notifications and impress your friends because this is the best looking phone out on the market. If you guys want to know how to enter, all the information is going to be in the description box. So. Click down below and hit that, and then and then you're good to go to entering to win the prize. And I hope you guys can win, because it's pretty freaking sweet.